cyber criminals are stealing thousands of pounds from parents of private school children by breaching vulnerable computer systems. Hackers access the personal information of wealthy mums and dads stored on cloud-based apps, which they use to send out fake bills for school fees. One parent with three children at a particular school paid £70,000 to hackers after being offered a 10% early bird discount. Police have asked schools to warn parents about scam emails asking for payments to be made to unfamiliar bank accounts. What can victims do? If you received an email requesting payment into an account that differs from the norm, you should call the school to check rather than emailing. If you wish to confirm that you have the right account, an initial sum of as little as one pound can be paid into the account. Once you ring the school, they should be able to confirm that the money has been received in the right account. If you think you have been a victim of the scam, ring your bank immediately and ask them to stop the transaction. They may be able to recall the funds if you act swiftly. You should then contact Action Fraud, the UK Cybercrime Reporting Service. The chief executive of the Independent Schools Bursars Association, which supports senior management staff in more than 1,000 schools, says that the cyber attacks have increased in severity in recent months. What were isolated incidents are now becoming part of a pattern of hack attacks, according to David Woodgate. Cybersecurity experts say that schools are leaving themselves vulnerable after making the move to Google for Education, a version of the cloud-based app suite Google Docs. That means that hackers don't need to penetrate more secure network security measures, just get hold of the username and password needed to access the documents. Criminals then make fake documents based on the school's templates, replacing legitimate bank account details with their own. Speaking to The Times, Neil Hairbrown, a director at Storm Guidance, a digital investigations company, said, I've had six cases recently from schools and three more from parents. Typically a school's admissions team is targeted with a phishing message to which they fall victim. This could be purportedly from an organization such as an agent of the school. They use a false email of a person known to the school to send a shared document, egg through Dropbox, which asks you to enter your username and password to view. Once they have, that they can log into Google for education as the school and access the administrator's email. Banks are under no obligation to refund the stolen cash as the victims authorize the payments. However, they could play a part in stopping the scam from working as some attackers have used the name of the school being targeted as the named holder when setting up the bogus bank accounts.
a message from the organized crime command at the Metropolitan Police to the Independent Schools Council said, police have become aware that UK private school fee payments are actively being targeted by cyber criminals. The attack begins with an email sent to parents stating the latest payment details for school fees. The email appears official and at times is being sent from the school's own compromised email system. The new bank details belong to the hackers and results in all school fees being diverted into the criminals' accounts. All parents need to be cautious if you receive emails stating a change of payment detail or containing unexpected attachments. You should telephone the school on the usual number, not one contained within the email, and double-check the validity of all information before making any payment. Five steps to more secure online operations Even using this checklist can't guarantee stopping every attack or preventing every breach. But following these steps will make it significantly harder for hackers to succeed. One, enable two-factor authentication, 2FA. Most major online services, from Amazon to Apple, today support 2FA. When it's set up, the system asks for a login and password just like usual, but then sends a unique numeric code to another device, using text message, email or a specialized app. Without access to that other device, the login is refused. That makes it much harder to hack into someone's account, but users have to enable it themselves. 2. Encrypt your internet traffic. A virtual private network (VPN) service encrypts digital communications, making it hard for hackers to intercept them. Everyone should subscribe to a VPN service, some of which are free, and use it whenever connecting a device to a public or unknown Wi-Fi network. Three, tighten up your password security. This is easier than it sounds, and the danger is real. Hackers often steal a login and password from one site and try to use it on others. To make it simple to generate, and remember, long, strong, and unique passwords, subscribe to a reputable password manager that suggests strong passwords and stores them in an encrypted file on your own computer. For monitor your devices behind the scenes activities. Many computer programs and mobile apps keep running, even when they are not actively in use. Most computers, phones and tablets have a built-in activity monitor that lets users see the device's memory use and network traffic in real time. You can see which apps are sending and receiving internet data, for example. If you see something happening that shouldn't be, the activity monitor will also let you close the offending program completely. Five, never open hyperlinks or attachments in any emails that are suspicious. Even when they appear to come from a friend or co-worker, use extreme caution. Their email address might have been compromised by someone trying to attack you. When in doubt, call the person or company directly to check first 
and do so using an official number, never the phone number listed in the email. Arun Vishwanath, Associate Professor of Communication, University at Buffalo, State University of New York.